Tashi Dilek to the viewers of Tibet Online TV. On today's weekly panel discussion program, we will be discussing about Tibet Core, an initiative of the Central Tibetan Administration. We have here with us three young Tibetans who are currently engaged in voluntary service for Tibet Core. Tibet Core, as the punchline rightly says, Tibetans serving Tibet is an initiative to inspire Tibetans to become directly engaged with the Tibetan community, its institutions, and the Central Tibetan Administration. Tibet Core is a platform where Tibetan professionals around the world can come together and render their voluntary service in order to build a collective strength to support Tibet and the Tibetans. Let me first introduce to you the panelists for the today's program. First, we have Pema Gyatso. She was born and brought up in US. She studied international studies at the U University of Washington. She is currently serving as the Tibetan Youth Outreach Officer at the Department of Information and International Relation. And her main responsibility is to raise awareness among the Tibetan youth about the policies and activities of the Central Tibetan Administration and to engage them in its development. And then we have Mr. Ngawang Nordup. Like Pemala, Ngawangla was also born and brought up in US. He studied Bachelor of Arts in Economics from San Francisco State University. He is currently serving at the Department of Information and International Relations and also contributing to Tibet Policy Institute. His main responsibilities include digitization of the past publications of the Department of Information and International Relations, document proofreading, existing in the research works and other administrative works. And finally, we have Tenzin Punzokla. Tenzin Punzokla was born in India. He studied from Tibetan Children's Village School. He took up chemistry, environmental science and botany for his under, undergraduate studies. Tenzin is serving in the agriculture section of the Department of Home and his main responsibility is to help with the solid waste management project and other agriculture related programs. Welcome to the show and Tashi Dilek to all of you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, let's begin with Pemala. First of all, you know, how did you get the idea about Tibet Core and what inspired you to give your service to the commu Tibetan community through this way? I actually first found out about Tibet Core through a Facebook posting. One of my friends had said, hey, check out this really great opportunity. So I clicked on it and I looked at their website and I was really excited to find out that a program like this even existed. And when I found out that it was an initiative of the CTA, I was even more excited. Um, I had been looking for a way to kind of get more involved with the Tibetan community. Um, growing up, being Tibetan has always been a really important part of my identity. But uh, growing up in the West, it was a little bit uh, difficult for me to connect with the Tibetan community. I grew up in a small town without very many Tibetans. Um, so as I got older, it became more important to me to kind of find a way to connect with my culture and also give back to the Tibetan community. So uh, I thought Tibet Core would be the perfect way to do that. And um, so far, it's been really cool. So I'm really excited that Tibet Core exists. Okay, what's your inspiration to serve the Tibetan community by being a volunteer for Tibet Core? I think that uh, the Tibetan community right now, there's a big need for more people to kind of get involved in, I mean, any way that you can, because the Tibetan cause is, you know, a very big thing worldwide. So if we can kind of spread that more and, you know, get more support, it would be really helpful for our future goals. Um, I think there's a lot of young Tibetans out there who have a lot of talent. So, you know, <clears throat> being in the U.S., you have the opportunity to get a really great education. And if you're not going to use that for a good reason, then, um, you know, you have the opportunity to do that here. So if you really want to give back, then there's, you know, more than enough uh, need for it. So I really thought that, you know, I have finished my bachelor's. I'm ready to try and, you know, use that for something. So I thought Tibet Core was a really good way to do that. Okay. <coughs> then, Ngawala, yeah, the same question, you know, how did you get the idea about Tibet Core? And what's the inspiration behind, you know, coming here to work for the Tibet Core? Yes, well, I was in a similar position as Pema, actually. I just finished my bachelor's, and I was wondering what I should do afterwards. So I talked to family and friends, and they said, Tibet Corps is a great way. You can work with the government, learn a lot about Tibetan community in exile outside of the West, uh, having been raised. So I figured it's probably the best opportunity I could get with respect to helping 
the Tibetan community at large. Okay, Punzola, unlike Pamela and Ngawala, you were born in India. So how did you get the idea about Tibet core and what inspired you to give your service to the Tibetan community through this way? Uh, I got the idea through one of my friend who used to work in a Tibet core for six months. And uh, right now I'm here as a college uh, intern and uh, for six months I'm working here. And uh, uh, I'm working in uh, agricultural section of the uh, Department of Homes. So as a Tibetan, I think it's important for me to serve my own society. And I feel privileged to serve my own people and my government. Okay, uh, Punzula, what's your impression of the Central Tibetan Administration before coming here? And what's the experience you, ha you have got after having come here and worked for the last few months? Is there a difference between your perce perception of the Central Tibetan Administration before joining and your actual experience after working here? Mm, before I joined CDA, uh, uh, I knew about CDA but not in depth. So when I came here, I knew how people work, what the CDA really does. So like example, I'm working in development homes. Uh, development of homes uh, looks after the 58 uh, settlements located in Nepal, India and Bhutan. Uh, especially the agricultural section of the homes looks after the agricultural uh, activities and like giving tools, education, workshops to the um, agricultural uh, settlements. <clears throat> okay, Kawala, uh, the same question, you know, what's your perception of the Central Tibetan Administration before coming here and what's the experience you have got so far? Honestly, being born, in the, born and raised in the West, we don't hear much about the CTA outside of green books and so on. So being here was much very helpful. You're out to learn much more about the different departments as well as the different bodies that work outside of or within the Kasha. For example, the resettlement projects played such a big role for many of the Tibetan communities inside the U.S. and abroad in Europe. So I learned much more. Okay. Uh, Pamela, the same question, you know, perception versus experience. Um. Uh, before I came to Dharamsala, I thought the CTA was kind of just this big organization that took care of all of Tibet's official business. And uh, after coming here, I still think that it is a very big organization that does take care of all of Tibet's official business. However, um, I was really surprised at how dynamic the CTA actually is and how all of the different departments have so many different um, initiatives within them. And even within one department, for example, I work at the Department of Information and International Relations. There's so many different sections within our office. We have a translation section, we have human rights desk, we have um, Tibet TV, we have the news. And so uh, there's always something going on at our office and it's very exciting. I thought it was kind of going to be maybe boring work, but um, everyone's really fun here. And especially at the DIAR, our staff is really young and um, yeah, everyone's really great. It's easy to get along with people here. Um, but there is a very big difference between work culture in the West and work culture here at the CTA. And um, the process of how things go along, you know, it takes a while to get used to it, but I think it's a really good learning experience. It's taught me to be really flexible and kind of um, to be more independent in my work. So it's been really eye-opening. Yeah, Pamela, you said there was a difference between the work culture of the Central Tibetan Administration mm -hmm. and those of the organization in the West. Can you just elaborate on that point? I think in the West, um, there are a lot of, you know, very strict rules and regulations and how things get done. There's a process for every little tiny detail. And at the CTA, I think um, it's great because we all work really hard and I see all of my coworkers constantly busy and working and um, they really take it upon themselves to carry out all their tasks. And there's not really someone micromanaging every move they make. So I think it's really good. I think that shows that Tibetan people can be really independent in their work and they're, be, they're able to you know, achieve their goals and tasks, even if there isn't a really set uh, format. So it's really interesting to see how that works. Okay, okay uh, Ngawala, uh, now you know, I believe in all three of you have the shared opinion that it's important for Tibetan professionals around the world to come forward and give their voluntary service to the Tibetan community like you guys are doing now. 
So now, Ngawala, how do you think it is important and why do you think it is important for Tibetan professionals to come forward and render their service to the Tibetan community? Yes, well, the Tibetan community in exile is so small. There's approximately like six million Tibetans inside Tibet, but in exile there's probably 130,000 or so. So we really don't have the manpower or the resources to help or do as much as we really could. So obtaining <laughs> professionals and so on from the West and India is very important to help manage and further the CTA's objectives and goals. Okay, uh, Kuzula, the same question. Why do you think it is important for Tibetan professionals, professionals like you guys to come and you know, serve the Tibetan community? Uh, first, uh, because of the uh, advancement in education given by uh, Tibetan government and uh, Indian government and so many governments. When you say Tibetan government, you mean the Central Tibetan Administration? Central Tibetan Administration, uh, scholarships and so many professionals are coming out. Uh, because of good education. Now, I think if they come and serve in Tibetan society, and I think it is like a good platform to give and take. If they come here, they will learn a lot. Like if they can contribute. At the same time, uh, the Tibetan community can uh, get some benefits, like with their professional, if it's a computer, language, uh, environmental studies, uh, management, uh, any, any, anything they can contribute and the uh, CDA also can take, I think. Okay, Pamela, why and how do you think it is important for the Tibetan professionals to come and serve like you do? I agree with both of my uh, colleagues and I also think that um, if you give your service to the Tibetan community, that really helps strengthen us as a whole. And I think right now is a very critical time for us as Tibetans to really be working hard to help Tibet as much as we possibly can. Um, and with especially uh, our generation of professionals and students, um, it's a really important time for us to kind of come and bring what we have to the table because we all have you know, something fresh to add. So if you can help in any way, I think um, it's a really good opportunity to take. And not only is it benefiting others, um, it really helps you develop as an individual. You learn a lot about the CTA, you learn a lot about yourself and what you can do to help. So um, it's a good experience. Okay, uh, finally, uh, it's not a question as such, you know, do you have any message that you would like to give to potential Tibetan professionals, you know, who might want to come and serve in the Tibetan community? Do you have any particular message? Let's start with Pamela. I think that if you have any small inkling desire to come and help this Tibetan community, you should definitely go for it. Um, the CTA and Tibet Corps has so many opportunities and no matter what skill set you have, what kind of degree you have, your skills can be used here. So if you have any small desire, I think it's really important to come. And especially I think for the younger Tibetans, um, they need to come and do this when they have the freedom to do so. Because when you get older, you know, you have a lot of engagements and opportunities that you have to take care of a family or a job. And when you're young, you can travel. And being in Dharamsala is a lot of fun. And I think that being a Tibet Corps volunteer has been a lot more than I expected. I've been learning so much here and I love everyone that I've met. Um, so it's been a really great experience for me and I'm really happy I did it. So I hope that other Tibetans will also do it as well. Yes, so Ngawala. Based on your experience, you, do you have any message that you would like to give to the Tibetan professionals? Yes. Uh, well, regardless of where you're raised, like in the West or in India, the Tibetan community needs so much help. And really, Tibet Corps provides such a great opportunity to do so. And especially if you're young and you've just finished school or s such, you could provide so much more to the Tibetan community. And since you're in Dharamsala, it's the Tibetan hub, really, for exiles. So you get to learn so much about Tibetan culture and so on. Punzula, any message that you would like to give? Yes, uh, I would like to say to the professionals of Tibetan to come work and see uh, what it's like to work in CTA. And, and I would like to say uh, what we, whatever we are now, like Tibetan s uh, status, is because of the hard works that have been done by the older generation. So I think it is our, the younger generation to carry on the legacy, the good legacy to like establish for the good future. So I would like to say come and work. Okay, so all, all three of you have the same message to appeal to the Tibetan professionals around the world to come and serve the Tibetan community like you guys do. 
Okay, so with this, we'll wind up this show. And I hope the viewers got some ideas about Tibet core through our three panelists here, Pamela, Nawala, and Punzola. I also hope more Tibetan professionals around the world would come forward and give their voluntary service to the Tibetan community. If there's any more information that you would like to know about Tibet core, please do visit the website of Tibet core that you can find on the TV screen. So with this, I conclude this program. And until then, take care and see you again on next Friday. Thank you.